Good evening. My name is Ajuri Ingilali, and you are most welcome to Africa's Future Leaders. This week, we are back home in Nigeria to introduce you to a young leader whose impact has reverberated not only within Nigeria, but internationally as well. His name is Toby Owolabi, and he is a medical technician whose heart for women and girls has led him into a life of selfless service. Without further ado, here is his story. Another early day for Isaiah Toby Owolabi in a city known for little sleep. Across Nigeria's commercial capital, he approaches his NGO, Hasey Health Initiative. It is another packed day full of activities. Now we will be the first to tell you, as we last month monitored them being scattered abroad, uh, they of course are for the Lagos Ibadrises and the Ogun State Fund. Though activities are many, his purpose is singular. To improve lives. Like the life of a young girl or the young guy who probably uh, wants to decide to say, I don't want to give birth now, but I want to give birth later and still live to my full dream. The li li that life of a young guy who says, I want to go to school, but I don't have the means to go to school. You know, that life of that orphan child would say, uh, for example, I, my parents are dead. I, I lost my parents to HIV AIDS, but I don't want my dream to die. That's the kind of people that we want work with. And that's the kind of people uh, that we want to help or that will always help to live to their full potential. At AC, uh, like I said, uh, vi vision is to uh, create a healthy and sustainable society. And uh, our co the core of our project or the core of our approach is based on what we call the care approach which is capacity building, advocacy, uh, research, and education. So the care is actually an acronym. When we set out AC, we knew we wanted to uh, build a strong institution, not dependent on any one individual, and an institution that would live far beyond us. So uh, the kind of experiences that we have had uh, all over the years has helped to shape the kind of programs that we uh, implement in the society. So like we would say, we use the human-centered design approach, which means we work with people in our community to create the solution. That we, we don't go into a community to say, this is what you, we think you need. We ask questions, how can we work together to uh, impact your lives in this community? So for example, I'll give you typical examples of some of the programs that we have had over the years or some of the uh, projects that we are currently doing. So, for example, we have the project Agbebi. Uh, Agbebi uh, uh, literally is a Yoruba word that translates to birth attendance. 
Uh, so what we did with that project is to work in rural communities across uh, Nigeria. Uh, we started from Ogun State, uh, Nigeria, where we're training traditional birth attendant to actually provide quality service. And we're also providing them with birthing kits and providing life-saving information for pregnant uh, women in Ibafu community. We're providing this information in their own local language. So uh, not having a uh, internet-enabled phone was not an excuse because we sent it via SMS and automated uh, phone calls. We also uh, trained the birth attendant to provide quality service to pregnant women and they also work with medical doctors and we also ensured that this traditional birth attendant because the community so much believe in them we also encourage traditional birth attendant to actually provide referral service to medical doctors within uh, the community and that has worked effectively to also remind uh, mothers of children under five to go for their uh, immunization to go for immunization of their children and so many other things in which uh, we have been working in that area. So I, I think uh, that's a project that we are very proud about because it has done a lot of things. One, it has reduced uh, the maternal uh, mortality rate in that community. It has also in increased the health seeking behaviors of pregnant women and mothers of children under five. And uh, you would agree with me that. Uh, even according to statistics, Nigeria has one of the highest maternal mortality ratios even in the world. So working to reduce that is a big gain, not just for that community, but for the health system uh, in Nigeria. The other project also that we have worked on uh, in different communities is a Stop Vag project and also a Salvos project. So the Stop Vag basically is stopping violence against girls. So later on, we evolved the project to include stopping violence against women and girls. However, our, our Salvos project, what it does is to work with young people and policy makers to help to uh, prevent gender-based violence and sexual violence. We at AC believe uh, that the best way to work on this is to make it comprehensive. We're creating a platform for young women in Nigeria, not just to report, but to also get uh, support. So you have young girls who have dropped out of school uh, because of one ailment or one disease or the other, either to their parent. We have young girls who can't continue education because of poverty of their parent. And so many of these young girls want to go back to school. Some of them, uh, they need some kind of training before they go back to school. Some of them want to learn some kind of tra trade. Yeah, you have told young girls, don't do this so that you can do this. But then young girls also need to be able to uh, make money. Young girls need to be able to stand on their own, to build their own uh, businesses. So that's why we came up with that uh, program. The kind of message or the kind of project or interventions that we are coming up with both on sexual and reproductive health, economic empowerment, and environmental sustainability that we are coming up with, institutions are actually embracing it and they are also able to uh, make it um, a sustainable thing in the society such that they can make it, for example, education institutions can make it a curriculum and or government institutions can make it part of their processes.